Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up ads on Instagram. Now, Instagram is actually owned by Facebook. So uh, when we're doing this, we're actually going to be doing this through Facebook's platform. Just keep that in mind. Now, obviously, Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms. So it, one, it is one that uh, could be highly effective for driving traffic to your business. Now, the first thing we have to understand here is the different types of ads that are available to run on Instagram. Now, the first one is photo ads. This is pretty self-explanatory. You're allowed to have a description there. You can take them directly to your website. Uh, but then we have video ads that are in the feed. Now, this is different from story ads. We're gonna talk about story ads in just a second here. Uh, but video ads that are in the feed, they've been around for quite a while now, uh, and you're allowed to have videos up to 60 seconds long, so a minute long video, as well as a description below this video right down here, which can be pretty effective in order to drive more sales and convert more people. So we're gonna talk about that later on in the video, but video ads can be very, very effective and uh, you can have different formats for this video. So it can be a long vertical video or it can be a, a typical type of YouTube style where it's t a 1920 by 1080 video. So you have a lot of different options there for video ads. Uh, then we get into something called carousel ads. This is great for people who are uh, running e-commerce businesses who are trying to sell uh, physical products and they wanna be able to to display different viewpoints of that particular product. Uh, people find that to be very, very uh, influential and helpful for them who are running those types of ads for e-commerce businesses. Uh, and then we finally have story ads. These are relatively new. Uh, these have really not been around for too long. And so a lot of people aren't using story ads yet, but they can be incredibly effective. The one thing you want to think about is that they can only be up to 15 seconds long and you aren't really allowed to have a lot of text in there. So you can have text within the video, but you can't write long paragraphs. Uh, it's just not going to work for most people. People aren't going to read a full paragraph in a 15 second span unless they hold down on it, but most people don't do that. So uh, what we're going to do here is click create our own. This is going to take us to Facebook ads manager. We're going to have to log into Facebook first but I should already be logged in so we're getting on to ads manager right now and what we are going to do uh, we're going to be able to create a new campaign so through this uh, it might look a little bit confusing at first with Facebook ads that's maybe why you came to this video it can look kind of intimidating uh, all these different options but trust me once you get the hang of this it's not too difficult it's pretty user-friendly really uh, through Facebook ads manager at least compared to something like Google AdWords or Bing ads uh, which can be a jungle so uh, we want to decide what our marketing objective here is if we're trying to build brand awareness or uh, drive more traffic to our business generate more leads so for most people they're gonna to want to just get more traffic to their business and we're going to want to name our campaign name so just to make sure that we don't confuse this with other campaigns we'll just call it run number one campaign run number one and click continue now all right so now we end up on the page where we are able to uh, create a new ad set and choose who we're actually marketing our products to or our business to so this is the part where i really want you to pay attention because there's a couple of different uh, ideas within here that if you follow through with could really help your business grow now we're going to want to decide where we go with our traffic we're going to send them to our website or you can even send them to uh, whatsapp or facebook messenger where, where you can then have a conversation with them you can set up bots to answer their questions for them as well but that's an entirely different video so let's just have them go to our website for today uh, and then we're going to actually choose who we are targeting to so hold on give me a second okay so we're, we're going to choose who we target uh, our specific ad for this campaign for so uh, for this now i want you to be careful with this because a lot of people think that they understand their target market perfectly well and, and maybe if you've been running your business for a long time you do know who your target market is and who will be converting the best on your products uh, but if you're just getting into this if, if this is really one of the first ads that you're running and you haven't sold a lot of products in the past and you don't fully know your uh, lookalikes, then I want you to be cautious of this because some people will jump into this and say, you know what, I I have a hunch that uh, the the average person who's buying my product, say you're selling an online course uh, for helping people with passive income, and people would make the assumption that you know what, it's going to be most likely the highest conversion is going to be people between 18 and 35, maybe male in the United States, uh, and making these assumptions can really hurt your overall sales growth in the long term because uh, I know two separate people on on two different occasions I've asked them this question and they've both answered it with really to my surprise and they were surprised themselves at first that 
contrary to what they believed, they were both selling uh, pretty similar courses about uh, generating income online. So making money online through various sources. I don't think I should mention their names, but um, they both found that contrary to popular belief where they thought that, that their target market and, and their highest converting person would be somewhere like a 30-year-old male or, or a millennial uh, who was eager to make more money, they actually found that a good amount of people were converting at very high rates who were 45 years and up. So even senior citizens were buying their online digital products, getting into the sales funnels and purchasing these items. And at first you wonder, wow, like how can a 65-year-old uh, be doing this who is interested in uh, uh, these kind of um, passive income sources be buying this and and converting so well on this Uh, but it actually turns out that they have a lot more discretionary income they have a thousand dollars is much easier to come up with when you're 65 and retired than it is for somebody who's 18 years old and struggling to pay their rent so it is interesting to see that so don't make those assumptions the whole point of this is to not make too many assumptions on who your specific target market is you can make some good ideas but i think it's important uh, at first when you're running your very first ad and testing the waters to keep it pretty broad and that's the point of this right now so i I would suggest keeping this pretty broad and then creating different ads to do different A-B tests to see who's converting the best. So you can do different age groups, make multiple different ad sets uh, so that you can set this up. So we're we're gonna keep this very broad. We're gonna keep this in the US and our potential reach right here is 230 million people. Now you can add different countries on here as well. So I like to add the United Kingdom and other uh, countries that have a pretty high amount of discretionary income. So Canada as well. And then I'll add Australia. Now, obviously, there's other countries that we can add. But you do want to think about where you are going to be selling the most of these products. And you can actually narrow this down to a very specific location. You can narrow it down to Philadelphia or California or um, New York. So you can get very specific with this. And then you'll also want to select your language, which will possibly be English uh, for myself, at least for my customers that I'd be running this against would be English speaking. Now, we can choose some detailed targeting uh, keywords here. Now, uh, choose your business and and decide some pretty broad, general words that could fit into this. If you're too specific, the ad rates are going to go up a lot more. You're going to be paying more per view and per click. So uh, for this, we're going to do marketing. And the more that we add on here, the more broad it will become. And the cheaper the ads will technically be. So Uh, Let's add some other ones here. So now our reach is only 64 million people. We can add different ideas like, uh, let's just say business. This is very general here. This is gonna open it up to a lot of people. Okay, business is not even, yeah. All right, there we go. So, and then what I love about this here is we're actually able to add different connections. So how people uh, are finding your platform or people who have already seen your website, seen your Facebook page, liked your Facebook page, you can do this through connections and that's what's really, really incredible. This is something you can't do with radio ads or traditional cable TV ads. You can't uh, just choose the people who have already liked your Facebook page or who are already warm traffic and that's what is pretty incredible about Facebook marketing. So we're not gonna do this for this because we don't have anything set up for that right now at the moment, but if you do have that set up, that could be very high converting. Uh, And now we're gonna want to change placements to edit placements. And now this is where we're gonna choose the specific ads that we're gonna be running. So we're not going to be doing Facebook ads for this. Now you can obviously, but what I would suggest doing is running separate campaigns for separate ads. uh, So that for example, if you have the same exact video for Instagram feed video and story video, uh, it can get a little bit weird because story ads can only be 15 seconds long, video can be 60 seconds long. So I would create two separate campaigns for that. Uh, So we're gonna actually, let's just go with feed for now for the video that I could put on here at the moment. I don't have anything set up for stories. Story ads, you'll want to be uh, much longer, a vertical like nine, nine to 16 ratio Uh, for that story ad but for feed you can do really any different ratio for that video so you can do square you can do uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920 which would be a little squished down now we can add which type of mobile device we want to put on here as well hold on there we go Uh, so we can do ios we can do android which is pretty interesting but the something that i would consider getting into is only when connected to wi-fi so what this will do is it'll prevent people uh seeing ads 
who are maybe maybe uh, walking down the street and they don't have Wi-Fi, so they might not be able to convert fully onto your website and actually go through the process because there's a good chance they're gonna be busy. Maybe they're in a restaurant with some friends and they see your ad and maybe they click on it, uh, but they're not gonna go through the whole process of buying your particular product when they're out and about. And maybe they're taking a big dump on the toilet uh, and they just don't have the time to do that. So that's why I usually click only when connected to Wi-Fi because there's a better chance that they're laying in bed, they have more free time to consider buying your particular product or uh, able to absorb more of your ad and more free time to do that. So I would consider only when connected to Wi-Fi. Now this is where we can select our budget. Uh, we can decide what we're going for here. Link clicks is what I would suggest sticking with. You can have some other options here for landing page views versus link clicks. What's the difference between them? Well, landing page views is getting them actually on your landing page versus as clicks where they might click on it but it might not fully load but this will help Facebook understand what your goals are so if you want to get the most amount of impressions as possible or you're focused on just clicks or focused on uh, getting new people every day to see your ad this can really help set things up now uh, we can create a cost control for this I don't think I would suggest doing this at first for most people because if you set this too low Facebook won't even run your ad they'll try to run your ad and if you're not getting any clicks on it because your bid is too low they aren't gonna like your ad they're not gonna show it because if they have to show it 10,000 times before it gets five clicks they're not gonna like that uh, and so I would keep this blank for now so that you can understand what your average rate is and then you can run that lower over time if you'd like uh, but then we can also set our daily budget now for this look set this at whatever you're comfortable with if you are on a low budget maybe set it at five or ten or fifteen dollars a day run it for a week so that you can get enough uh, data to understand how your traffic is actually converting and how well this ad is converting the one thing i will note is that look you're going to be doing a lot of different a b testing a lot of different split testing to find out the perfect ad uh, let me give an example of this i was talking to Ju um kong from jump cut if, if you're familiar with jump cut academy you've probably seen his ads all over youtube kong has a few million subscribers on some of his youtube channels but he he, he was saying how uh, with one of his particular ads, it was a very simple little change. And that's why marketing is 90% skill and 10%, uh, not necessarily luck, but really uh, kind of throwing things at the wall until something really sticks when you're doing this, this A-B testing. So what he did is he had two separate ads. One of the ads, uh, he said, hey, I'm Kong. And the caption said, hey, I'm Kong underneath it. So he had subtitles for it. But the other one, he made a separate one to kind of test some different things. And some of these are pretty crazy, but they can really work. So on the second one, he said, hey, I'm Kong, same video, but he said, hey, I'm Kong, and then he went on with his spiel, but the caption said, hey, I'm Asian. So this little tiny change increased his conversions on his ad by 11%. Just that little thing from, hey, I'm Kong, to hey, I'm Asian, just the caption below that, not even what came out of his mouth. It was the same video, just different caption, an 11% increase in conversion. So you are gonna have to do a lot of testing behind this, and that's why I would keep your daily budget relatively low, run it over a week, uh, and then you can get enough data points where you can understand whether or not this ad is actually effective for you. So we're just gonna keep this for $20 for this. We're gonna click continue, and it'll show us how many people we're able to reach. It said at least 4.8 thousand people per day that we're reaching. Now, this is where we can actually upload our video ad or our photo or our carousel ad that we want to create. Uh, and you're gonna wanna add your Instagram account on here. I'm not gonna do that just to save you some time here. Uh, but we're gonna choose a single video. Okay, so we're choosing a single video for this, and this is going to give us the option to upload a video. So let me just upload one very quickly, and let's just choose this foldable bike video, okay? So this will give you uh, the video recommendations on the side so you know the right format for your video. Like I said, if you're uploading one for the feed, it can really be any size. There's not too many limitations on that, but for stories, it's, uh, there are much many more limitations for uploading a story ad. You want to fit the phone perfectly so that it uh, isn't too flat on their phones. Now, once this uploads, we'll just give it some time, but we'll move on. Uh, then we can decide how our link is actually going to look on this different ad. So let's just give it a second here to load. We can enter our website URL on here, and then we can have a different call to action as well. So let me type this in. And see how it says learn more right there. We can change this to some different options. Uh, hold on. 
So we can change this to some different options. So our call to action, what do we want this, this part right here where it says learn more, we can change this. So if we're trying to get somebody to donate, uh, if we're a nonprofit, you can say donate now or download if you're offering some type of free ebook or a PDF or contact us if you're more of a service business. So you wanna decide which one you're gonna go with here. They do give you a lot of different options. I do like to have learn more on here because it's not too intrusive on people. Uh, it's, it's really not very intrusive at all. And then this is the part where you can add text on here. So, so we can write our hook here. And this gives you a lot of space. You can write paragraphs if you'd like on this ad to really help convert people. And this is what I do like over story ads that you're able to give more context to your business. This is better for cold leads, people who have never seen your product before. Uh, it, it gives you more of, of an ability to convert these people and tell them who you actually are. And that's what I love about these video ads. It's a minute long versus that 15 second story ad, which we'll cover in another video. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel, by the way. Uh, now. And that's essentially it. Uh, this is this is really how you can set up Instagram ads. It's that simple. You confirm, and then they'll start running your ad just like that. So it's not terribly difficult, as you can see. Uh, there are some other ins and outs of this that we can get into that we haven't covered in this video for simplicity. Uh, we don't want to get too crazy here. Maybe we can make another hour-long tutorial at some point, but this video is much shorter, much more to the point. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. Let me know your thoughts down below on any questions that you might have. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everybody next time in the next video uh, regarding Facebook and Instagram ads.